Hello, I'm Kelly Joe Phelps for Guitar Sesh, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my uh, finger picking techniques and ideas. And um, one of the primary things that I uh, like doing with a finger picking guitar uh, is is improvising um, melody lines while I'm playing bass lines with my thumb, <clears throat> and uh, a lot of that has to do with not necessarily playing full regular chords, you know, like uh, what I was just playing is, is based on G, on a G chord, but rather than holding down a, a full <clears throat> G chord, which ties up a lot of fingers, um, when I'm finger picking, because uh, my thumb is playing these bass notes, um, <clears throat> just with these three strings open, I'm, I'm already making the G chord sound and then from there I can use my two picking fingers I don't use the ring finger to pick but the index and middle fingers um, but from there I can I can start grabbing melody notes so if this is sounding out the G chord and then I can do things like that um, and uh, having learned to improvise I can make up these melody lines um, which you can do as well um, just by trying to find some different notes you can create your own patterns like uh, you know uh, and that's really what I'm doing there more specifically than uh, sounding the G chord is I'm actually using just the, the root note and the fifth and then uh, I'm playing melody notes from that G pentatonic scale pretty much and then uh, <clears throat> picking those so even though I'm sounding a G chord I'm playing out of a minor pentatonic scale so it, it has that that's what lends it uh, the, the blues uh, sound of the, of the blues music is which is a common aspect of, of the blues is is kind of a minor tonality and a major tone tonality at the same time. Like that. So you can see I just hold the, this finger down, which is my main bass note, and then it's really just these two fingers grabbing those uh, scale notes. And uh, if I'm playing out of that G position like that, I can get uh, other the other chords that are going to go along with this uh, kind of blue sound. Like um, if I want to go from the G chord then into the C chord or the, f the four chord, uh, a lot of times I'm going to keep this G bass note down, which isn't the the bass note, the main bass note for the C chord, but it's a it's an inversion. But it's a cool thing because then I can just go to the C this much of the C chord. But rather than having that finger down for the bass note, I keep that G down, which which helps the the sound of the whole thing flow across. So like this would be the G. And then it, becomes a C7 chord or the 4 chord and like I said I'm keeping this this low G note down to help uh, help the, the sound just flow all the way through <clears throat> and then back to that G like that and then uh, and that's the the C so you can see how that uh, that ringing bass note there keeps everything moving along. Like that, and that's uh, this last chord I'm playing, that's another cool sounding um, voicing for a G chord. It's actually a G suspended sort of with this C note on it, but um, it's a uh, I get that kind of thing, that suspended sort of, it's referred to as like a modal, modal sound, 
uh, which a lot of old banjo players use, these modal tunings where they'll tune the, the banjo, five-string banjo, into an open chord, but instead of having a, a regular third in the chord, like this B note, they'll, they'll tune to an open, like a C note, and then they get this great, that's they're one of those... Um, chord you would strum out, uh, but it's a part of a tonality that you can use to create that kind of bluesy, um, you know, that sort of bluesy motion. Um, and then uh, there's another great thing you can do <coughs> within this, the context of this sound, uh, which deals both with that suspended uh, sounding chord as well as this minor pentatonic scale, and that is um, you can replace the five chord which in G would be some kind of a D chord, but uh, instead of going to D, a lot of times I like to go to an F in this case, kind of an F chord voicing. So mm -hmm. instead of a f using a five chord, I'll use a uh, f you know a chord built on the flat seven, this G, and um, because I'm use uh, keeping these uh, the sixth and the fourth and the third strings as the kind of the center point for making the chord sounds. Uh, the F voicing I use a lot of times, I get, take my thumb across and grab this low F note, and then I put this ring finger down on the third fret of the fourth string, and those are my two F notes now, and, uh, and I, I'm still keeping a hold of this C note, which was the suspension on the G chord, um, but becomes a part of the F chord as well. And then I've still got my little finger to move around to grab melody notes, and so I'll show you what I mean by all that. So, again, starting with the G. And then there's that C chord, the four chord. And then back to the G. Instead of going to that D for the five, I'll, like I say, I'll drop to F and then the C and then G. And here's that turnaround again. There's F and C. Like that. Uh, so I'm glad I got a chance to uh, show you a little bit about my approach to guitar playing and uh, I hope that it helps you figure out some ways to um, open up your own playing and, and uh, find more ways to be uh, creative, certainly around the you know, three chord blues sound. All right, good luck.